Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing Mr. Gus from Uncle Grandpa. Good morning. <laughs> All right, dude, you got your marker? Yes. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. We hope you always follow along with us. Art is always more fun when you're drawing with your friends. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Okay. All right, checkers, we're gonna start with our paper vertical. vertical. And that's because we're gonna draw him standing up. Mm -hmm. He looks like Godzilla. Yes. A sad Godzilla. Sad or green bored. Godzilla. Yeah. Or really green Godzilla. <laughs> All right, we're first gonna start by drawing his nostrils, okay? So we're gonna draw two, we're gonna draw two uh, A shapes. Like this, right next to each other. Good. Good job. And then we're going to draw little ovals inside for his nostrils. That's his nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his first eye, and we're going to draw it behind this first nostril. So we're going to draw an oval shape. That. See how it overlaps? Yeah. Good. Awesome. Now we're going to draw his other eye on the other side. And we're gonna overlap that one. So I drew a little hook, kinda goes around, and then it's gonna come through and connect to his eye. Awesome, now let's draw his eyelids, and it's just gonna be a line that goes over the top because he looks bored. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw his pupils that are just underneath his eyelids. So a little colored in, there we go, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna draw his cheek, and it's gonna come out from the left side of his eye, come down like that, just below his nostrils. Then we're gonna draw an upside down U. It's gonna start, so we're gonna imagine this line going behind his eye and it's gonna start right there. And we're gonna go over the top of his head, like that, and then we're gonna curve down. And this line can go a little further than the line on the left. Good, we drew it at the top of his head. Let's Might draw- Might be a pack, like the ghost from Pac-Man. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the line coming down from his cheek into his lips. Now let's draw his lips next. So we're gonna draw, right here, we're gonna draw curving down. Clam <laughs> lips. I like this guy. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna, let's curve like this on, on the left side. And then this line is gonna be parallel or run right next to the top line. All right, good. Now we're gonna draw this line coming back around and it's gonna go parallel and then curve back in. Looks like he's got fish lips. Fish lips, <laughs> clown. Good, now he has two teeth sticking out of his lips. So we're gonna draw a little tooth there and a little tooth right next to that oh one. My goodness. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his chin. So right underneath this tooth, we're gonna draw a curve. Comes down and curves almost into his, his lips. Good job. Now we're gonna come back up to this line and we're gonna draw a curve down. And we're gonna go just past his chin. Now let's draw his cheek line on this side. So we're gonna draw a curve coming in and then it's gonna bounce back out. There we go, that looks awesome. <laughs> now let's draw the other line for his neck. So over here, we're gonna draw a line, thumbs down. Now we're gonna connect this line to this side, but we're gonna do it with a big S line. So it's gonna come down and then back up, and right at the end, it's gonna curve into his shoulder. Okay, now let's draw his arm and his body. So we're gonna draw a, another curve for, for the top part of his arm. Then we're gonna draw a curve on this side for the front part of his arm. Okay, and then let's draw the same line for a chest line over here. Now let's draw the bottom part of his arm. So we're gonna draw another curve that comes down really far, and, and then I curved it so that it ends right kind of in the middle of his arm. Then we're gonna draw the back side of his arm, and this one's gonna be shorter because we need to draw his fingers. Okay, now let's draw a line curving this same direction as the front. Now we're gonna connect these two lines with an M. So we're gonna go up, down, back up, and then back down. Look like an M? Yeah. Good, that looks awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his belly. And his belly sticks out a little ways. So we're gonna draw a big curve, and it's gonna end right below his arm. 
Good. Now let's draw his leg. So we're going to draw the front part of his leg. Then let's draw the back part. So a little curve here. And then we're going to draw the back over here. And this goes into his heel. Then we're going to draw his the top part of his foot. And then we're going to curve it all the way around and connect to his heel. Good. Now he has some toes. So let's draw two lines for toes. One, two. Awesome. Now let's draw his other leg. So we'll draw another curve, like the front of his leg over here. Good. And then we'll draw a little curve for this line. And then we'll draw another line for the back of his foot. Okay, and then also draw the top of his foot and then connect those two lines. Good, and then we can draw those two lines for his toes. Good job, we did it. He's missing his shirt though. Yeah. <laughs> let's, draw, let's draw a little S, S line so it goes up, back down, and then curves into his hand. Now let's draw his chest muscles, so a little curve there and a little curve next to it. And we can draw his other arm. So let's draw another curve right here. And that's going behind his body. So we can only see a little part of his arm. What's he missing? His tail. Yeah, let's draw his tail. So we're first going to start right here. So his belly line. We're going to imagine that going through his leg. And then coming out the back. Like that. <laughs> and then we're going to come back over here. And start from his hand. And we're going to get closer and taper down to his tail and then curve around and connect it. Oh, he's missing one little line on his arm for his muscle. All right, we're done. No, wait, we're missing something. Yeah. What are we missing? The little detail things on his back. Yeah, his it makes him look like Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw, let's draw the top one. It's a little curve, it looks like a backwards question mark. And then we're gonna bounce out and do two more of these. Kind of looks like a chicken, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it does. <laughs> All right, let's draw one more right in the back of his head. So let's curve out. We'll do the same thing. And we'll curve out and do three of those. Go back in. <laughs> and then do one on his neck. Let's do another one here. <laughs> and then we're going to do one on his tail. And then a smaller one right on the end of his tail. Now we're done. We finished him. Yes. Except we need to color him. Yeah. All right. Let's pick out our colors. We'll come back. All right. We're going to use Pentel oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use anything you want. Colored pencils or markers. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do any shading. He's just going to be solid colors. And we're going to use uh, dark, uh, light green, dark green, orange, uh, pink and a peach for his shirt. Yes. Ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Checkers, man, we finished him. He looks awesome. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Mr. Gus with us. And so not important that their drawings look exactly like ours, right? Yeah. What's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Good morning. Good morning.